Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I have a fun cat card set to share with you today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Mew Did It, birthday banner dies, party animal stamp set, meow and forever, stitch circle dies, scallop circle dies, card mat dies, along with our card layer dies two and the card layer dies ver two version B and the Bella Boulevard Chloe and Bella Boulevard ooh, freehand graph paper. So I took some of that freehand graph paper in yellow, and I'm going to be stamping all my little cats from You Did It onto that paper with Verse Fine Claire Nocturne Ink using my Misty, just so, you know, I get a good image if I have to stamp it more than once. And then I did cut it out with my um, Brother Scan and Cut with a 0.4 border. So now I'm adding some R20 just to the ears, being careful not to touch the black line, as remember that is not a Copic-friendly ink. So there we are. So I'm just quickly flicking on some pink. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is kind of like a non-color card. And then I'm just going to quickly dot in the pads on the cat's feet with the pink also. And just, you know, trying to be careful not to touch that black line. So I went ahead and I cut out um, the little party banner um, dies, the little images, out of black cardstock and American crafts. Um, that's the back layer and then the other two layers are cut out of that Chloe six inch Bella Boulevard paper pad. So just contrasting patterns. So there's a little gift. Then there we are. And I'm just gluing them together with my art glitter glue. This is a little party hat. There we go. Kind of cute, right? And now you can see where I'm going with this. Basically, I'm making um, a set of four cat-themed birthday cards. And then this is a little cupcake. So I cut the little cupcake wrapper out of that same Chloe pad along with the little, you know, icing top for the cupcake. There we go. Using my reverse tweezers and like I said, some art glitter glue. Just trying to line everything up. And then there you go. So quickly, I'm just going to be stamping the faces on, but first I'm gonna add little pink cheeks to each image. So just little, you know, colored circles on their little cheeks. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going for a little bit of a pink cheek, and you know that cats don't have pink cheeks, so it doesn't really matter. This is like cartoon stuff. So now I'm going to stamp their little, you know, their little whiskered faces onto each little cat. They're so cute. And I do stamp a couple more cats, um, and I stamp a couple more of the mini cats. The mini cats will be used on the inside of the cards. So there we go. I'm going to add the last little face on. And then I don't show you, you know, me, me uh, creating all of them, but now I'm going to do the cards. So I went ahead and I cut out some of that border paper pieces. I guess it's like, you know how they have uh, paper with all the little borders on it? And I just cut them out in varying widths, just so, you know, all the border, um, you know, so it's cut out on the lines of the little borders. And I'm adding on, um, adding them to the interior of my card. So that is a 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inch piece of smoky shadow cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And so it's an A2 sized vertical card. And then I added a piece of Nina at 65 pound cardstock to the inside at four by five and a quarter inches. Do that to all the cards. Then I went ahead and I cut out pattern papers from that same Chloe six inch pad from Bella Boulevard. And I cut it out, cut them out using the card mat dies from Jada Blossom. And I'm going to apply each of those to the front of the card base with my HEG tape. So I've already done all the insides exactly as I did the first one that I showed you. So now I'm going to add on the card layer dies two. And this is also paper cut from the same paper line. So it's got all the little kitty cat faces. So isn't that cute? So what I was going for was one busier pattern and one pattern that was kind of less busy. So the gray is my less busy pattern. And then obviously the one with the cats is my more busy. So I'm gonna add the little stripe onto this one. And there we go. Isn't that cute? So easy stuff. Like I said, using ATG tape to stick that down. So here's my second card. So I'm going to add on the background. And that's my little all over pattern. So it's kind of gray and muted. 
think it says I love cats. And then I'll be adding on the fussy paper with all the different cats, cat faces on it. There we go. And I will add that to the top. So that's that other side of that card layer dies too. So I did the first, the card layer dies two, and then I did the version B of the card layers dies too. So I've have those little um, pieces of paper, you know, facing in opposite directions, if you know what I mean. Okay, so now this one says, I think it says here, kitty, kitty. So this is an all over blueprint cut with the card mat dies. So you can make any cards with this design. It's a, just a really easy little design. Now I'm going to add on this little piece. So I use the same shape space basically on every single card. And I wanted to, and since they're both directional, I wanted to keep the cats all upright. And so that's the way I used each piece. So now I'm adding on my last general background with my ATG tape there. That was cut with my card mat dies. And that has little, little cat faces all over it, like sort of cat silhouettes. And there we go. And then I will add on the last two little pieces with this um, directional little kitty cat paper. So I add one to the top and then I'm going to add the stripe that matches because why not, right? And then we will get to creating our little kitty cat cards. My daughter has a cat, loves cats. She's a cat driven person. So she's in town. I thought I would make her a little card set to bring back with her, um, you know, in case she's got to give out a birthday card. So now I'm going to make the little spots for each little cat image. This is Smoky Shadow cardstock and Paper Tray Ink White cardstock. And what I did was I went ahead and I you cut out the white cardstock with a two and a half inch stitch circle die. And then I cut out the scalloped one. It is a three inch circle die. And I basically put those little framed images on each card. So that's what I'll be doing. So now I'm stamping on the sentiment on the, on the, you know, in the center of each one, it says scratch off another year, happy birthday. And then I will add the little kitties to the inside of the cards. So I did this to all four cards. There we go. So I'm going to add on the next one, this is with my art glitter glue. And these are really simple to do. As you could see, I think it really adds something to each one. So now I'm going to do some stamping of sentiments. So I'm going to pull out my stamp sets. I did not, oh, this is a perfect time to tell you, I did not use that party animal stamp set. That's no longer available at Jada Blossom. So I thought it wasn't fair to use that. So I'd use the Mew Did It and the... Um, Mm, and the other one that I mentioned, I don't have it in front of me right now. Where is it? Oh, is that it? That's it. Sorry, guys. And the Meow and Fever Forever stamp set. So I went ahead and I stamped out Purdy Time. Um, and then with my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink using my um, Misty. And I cut it out with one of our sentiment strip dies. And the length of it was like two and a quarter inches long, which is the perfect length for that purdy time um, sentiment and the other one says wishing Mew a happy birthday and I cut that out out using our mini tag dies three so now I'm going to be adding distress oxide broken china to the center of each of the little circles just to give the cats a little spot to land and I did cut out this party banner using our party banner dies our birthday banner dies and I use the same papers from um, Bella Boulevard so I'm just going to angle them in the upper right hand corner and I'll just trim it down to make it look like there's a string on that side too. Then I will be adding in my sentiment. So my sentiment says pretty time on this one, but I will be stacking it up on, um, you know, just on some slivers of paper just to add, you know, just to add a little bit of dimension. There we go. And I'll do it again for this one. There we go. So two are going to say pretty time and the other two will say wishing you a happy birthday. So now I'm going to add in this little sentiment strip sentiment and I'll add that overlapping the banner on this one. So, you know, easy stuff. And then now I am going to add on my little stitched and scalloped circles with the ink blending. So I'm just going to add that on to my card base, and there we go. So this is gonna be my little nest for my cat. And then this is the little cat. I'm going to be adding that little gift in the tail area. So I will stick 
the gift there and add some dimension. I did use Stampin' Up! Dimensionals, um, you know, to pop up the kitty cat. There we go. And I'm going to have that little cat sort of scratching, holding on, right? And holding that little present with his tail. And I do add some Signo White Jelly Roll Pen in number 10. You know, a few little um, embellishments using that. So now I'm working on my next card. This is also the party or birthday banner dies. And I'm just going to add that in the upper right hand corner again like I did just cut off the extra with my EK success scissors now this is my other sentiment that I stamped onto paper tray ink white cardstock all my die cutting today was done with my Gemini machine and I'm just going to line that up in the upper left hand corner and then I will whoops and then I will cut off the overhang here we go so I'm going to go ahead and pop up my next little kitty onto this little stitch and scallop circle dies there. And that will be my next little um, arrangement, I guess you could call it. See, so you don't have to use these images. You don't have to actually color them completely. You can stamp them on pattern paper and just cut them out. Now this would have worked a lot better if I had outline dies for these, but I don't have outline dies for these. I don't think they're available yet. Um, I'll have to put a little bug in um, Michelle and Candace's ear about that. Maybe they can make that happen. There we go. So now I'm just going to be adding on some more Stampin' Up Dimensionals to the back of this little kitty cat. And then I'll be able to pop this one up on my card too. So I'm going to pop it up on the bottom and then I will add on the little present and I'll have it balancing on his little head because you know why not, right? Just too cute. And uh, perfect for my daughter to give out to her friends for birthday par birthdays. There we go. So I'll pop that onto the top of his little head. Isn't that cute? Just too cute. And like I said, I did add some uh, Signo White Jelly Roll pen um, highlights in white to this kitty cat. I did color the tip of the tail with that. So they, they had little white tips of their tail. There we go. And I will just cut off the overhang there. And isn't that cute? So wishing Mew a happy birthday. Now I'm going to work on the next one. So this one will have the sentiment on the bottom left-hand corner. So you can see what I'm going with here. Basically, I want to put the sentiment on the non-busy paper. So that's what I'm doing. So the, you know, so it stands out. It would kind of get lost in that cat paper. So now I'm going to add on this little kitty cat onto his little circle. There we go. And you'll notice that I'm keeping this one glued flat onto the circle, adding the little party hat, because you know, every cat needs a party hat. And then I will be adding on the birthday banner. There we go. Into the upper right hand corner again. And like I said, all my die cutting today was done with my Gemini machine. And that was also from that same Bella Boulevard Chloe paper. So there we go. And now I'm going to pop up the whole circle this time. So last time I had the cat popped up, but the circle flat. This time the circle's popped up and the cat's flat. So, you know, something different. So now I'm popping up this little scallop circle again, and then I will be adding my other little sentiment. You'll notice the pretty time will be on the less busy paper on the pink. And then I will be adding my little kitty cat. There we go. I'm going to set him in place. And then I'm going to add the little cupcake. He's going to have a cupcake on his head. Isn't that cute? Sort of like a hat, right? It's always fun. And then I will be adding the little banner to the upper right-hand corner like I did on all of them. So, you know, easy stuff. And then I will cut off the overhang with a pair of scissors here. So this is an easy way to make a fast little set of birthday cards. I think they turned out super cute and perfect for, you know, cat lovers. So now I'm pulling out my all to new enamel dots. They're the essential black and white. And I'm going to add three little white hearts to the little tumble glass background. And then I will add, um, I will add a couple of more once the video is done and you will see in the finished cards. But thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog. Be inspired, the J be inspired, the Jada Blossom store, if you'd like to get your hands on these adorable products. And hopefully come back and watch my next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.